This is a special day for Stefka Radilova. She's been fattening her only pig for a year. We make sausage, we make ham and a few other things. And that feeds us for a year. All her male relatives have come to Zheravna, a village in eastern Bulgaria. The butcher is a neighbor. To mark the occasion, there's a glass of spirits with breakfast. It's rakia, distilled by Stefka's husband, Todor. For the Radilovs, this is supposed to be a day of celebration. But there's something bothering Stefka. The NATO maneuvers taking place in the mountains nearby. They scare me. They really do. Russia is not a weak power. It's strong. But the presence of American forces is supposed to give Bulgarians a feeling of security. Joey Donado is here to protect Bulgarians like Stefka. The 24-year-old U.S. Marine Corps sergeant is part of a tank unit at the Novo Selo training ground. This is also a special day for him. He's taking part in NATO field training exercises with Bulgarian troops. They've been training for it for more than two months. We have a great training area that allows us to move with, around with our tanks as well as Bulgarian mechanized units. And it's a wide enough space that we can do it together instead of one tank at a time or a few tanks at a time. He and the other infantry Marines have been here since August. More American combat tanks arrived as reinforcements a few days ago. The NATO mission here is open-ended. No, the tanks are staying here and they will be, will be replaced, but the tanks are staying. The last time foreign combat tanks were permanently stationed on Bulgarian soil was more than 70 years ago when the Soviet Union occupied the country in the Second World War. What's changed now is the Russian annexation of Crimea. NATO aims to prevent similar moves in neighboring countries. This particular training exercise is uh, part of this overall effort to send a strong signal of preparedness, readiness, and uh, uh, resolve in the face of the challenges that we face uh, on the eastern flank, but also in the south. The maneuver scenario today reflects that aim. The units are training how to repel an attempted invasion. It's this kind of saber-rattling that dismays Stefka. I like the Russians. They're Christians like us. We lived under the Turkish yoke for 500 years. The Russians liberated us, and that's reason enough to like them. Many Bulgarians would agree with her. Russia and Bulgaria share many linguistic and cultural similarities. It's no accident that all the dishes Stefka is preparing are also part of Russian cuisine. The historical ties to Russia are also apparent in Bulgaria's military. Almost all the equipment Joey Donado's Bulgarian partners use, like these armored personnel carriers, is Soviet made. As we, we see it on pictures and we learn about them, so it's, it was, it's interesting to actually see them in person and actually train with the people that work on them or that operate them. The mess hall serves only American cuisine. The base's television shows American sports events. Joey Delgado sees little of life off the base. Yes, some off time here on base, but you do have an option to go out in town on the weekends. So. But he rarely takes the opportunity. The military base is a familiar environment, and many US soldiers feel uneasy given the open dislike of the NATO maneuvers among the surrounding community. Back in Zheravna, Stefka and her family feel the same way. The people gathered here say the maneuvers are an unnecessary provocation for the Russians. Only the youngest one disagrees. He's the same age as Joey, the Marine sergeant. 
My generation has shifted its focus to other countries, England, for example. Russia's fallen more by the wayside. He may be the only one at the table who isn't worried about the NATO forces in the area, but Stefka's grandson is still in the minority in Bulgaria. <laughs>